India, in spite of being the world's largest market for tractors, has the lowest market permeation with just 14 tractors per thousand hectares. Rising diesel prices makes it very difficult for subsistence farmers in less developed countries to afford tractors to increase agricultural production. From Royal Enfield motorcycle turned multi-purpose tractors to tractors fashioned out of junk to the soon-to-be darling of climate change activists, the solar tractor, tractors are evolving and changing as we speak. From Saurashtra in the state of Gujarat, state in India, this is a story of partnership between India and the United States, led by Steve Hackeroth, CEO of Solic Track Limited Liability Company, based out of California, along with Keith Rutledge. And from Rajkot in India is Parimal Shah, founder of Loveson Enterprises Private Limited. Coming to fruition through the funding from the United States India Science and Technology Endowment Fund, this mid segment 35 horsepower solar tractor, also called Solar Track, has many a striking technical features. The foremost among them is its very special transmission system made specifically for electric tractors. Here is how it is unique. A conventional fossil fuel driven tractor takes its power from the power takeoff shaft, generally called the PTO shaft. But in this solar tractor, there is no PTO shaft, and yet it is far more efficient than the diesel driven tractors. The solar tractor takes power from the batteries instead of the PTO shaft as in conventional tractors. Since here the power takeoff transmission axle is replaced by electric motor, there is no reverse gear. However, it does not mean that the tractor cannot move in reverse. This is forward and reverse. So forward. With an electric motor, simply turning a switch can change the rotation and the tractor can move in a reverse direction. The technology also results in minimizing the use of various mechanical components. We would probably be the first one to bring this to the market. And uh, there is a lot of excitement already with my uh, uh, partner. He gives me a feedback that a lot of people who are visiting his farm. All the implements linked to the solar tractor would also be powered up by the batteries. We are good at the mechanical engineering side. My partner Steve is good at the electrical uh, and electronic engineering side. So we have combined our resources together. All mechanical components have been made in India. I said front end, the entire front end is made in India. Uh, chassis components are made in India. The transaxle is made in India. The electric motor, battery management system, and the battery and the power pack. This is what Steve is taking care of. Entire mechanical components are made in India. I started building electric tractors in the early 90s because I saw a need for getting away from fossil fuel and being able to grow food using renewable energy sources. The India US Science and Technology grant allowed me to do four prototypes. Yet another novelty is the mid-hitch which allows clear visibility and hence better control of the implements attached in front of the tractor, a feature not seen in conventional fossil fuel driven tractors. And when it comes to attaching agricultural implements to the tractor, all it takes is a maximum of 20 minutes as against at least an hour in routine tractors. Industry trackers feel that the uptake of smaller horsepower tractors is expected to increase in the coming years and this solar tractor is all set to lead the way. With no solar tractor in India or the US, this uniquely innovative 35 horsepower mid-segment solar tractor which operates with up to five times the efficiency of a diesel tractor performing the same farming tasks is what the world will surely be looking forward to.